my channel um this look today honestly i don't know i guess you can call it a baby glam baby instagram baddie whatever but yeah i'm just giving you some shimmy eyelids girl got some falsies on your girl got some falsies on so you know it's a glam it gotta be glam yeah i don't really know what to call this video just i guess a glam a subtle lip i was thinking about a bolt lip but the color didn't really go but anyways yeah if you guys are interested in seeing how i created this look just continue watching the video and if you don't want to watch the video you already know the drill you you don't gotta watch it you know so just click out the video wherever wherever but um yes and if you guys are interested in seeing where i got these sunglasses for i will link them down in the description box i guess enough talking let's just get on to it okay so i already did my eyebrows and applied my tape i'm just gonna start off with my nyx jumbo eye pencil in the color milk and just putting out all over my eyelid to act as a primer and then i am going to be setting it with you already know my laura mercier mercier whatever you call it setting powder i'm going to be placing that all over my lid all the way up to my brow bone for my transition color, I'm going in one of Bare Minerals Loose Eyeshadows in the color beige. Next, I'm going to be using this Tinted Mineral Veil, also from Bare Minerals, just to kind of set that and add a little bit of definition to my crease. You know, gotta do a little turn up session, okay. I'm going in with my LA Colors Eyeshadow Palette in Urban, and I'm using this light orange color just in the outer corners of my eye. I've been seeing your body. And then I'm going in with this other palette and adding the dark brown matte color to deepen my crease even more. Take my v, that's Next, I'm going to be spraying this little eyeshadow brush and then going in with this golden orange color in my inner corners. And then I'm going to be going in with this dark rose gold and like a dark tan shimmer color. On the outer corners of my eyelids mm -hmm. now I'm just doing the normal winged liquid eyeliner on both of my eyes and now I'm pulling the tape off ready to apply my falsies now it's time for eyelashes and I'm just using these Broadway ones and like I said I'll leave it down in the description box the name of it I forgot the name for you. and I really you know I suck at applying lashes so I did pretty good on this my first try I'm going in that same eyeliner and just lining my waterline. I'm using these two hard candy primers mixed together and just rubbing all over my face. Then I'm going in that same foundation that I always use. Blending it out with a damp beauty blender and I'm going in with this light concealer to highlight under my eyes. On the bridge of my nose, above my nose, my cupid's bow, and my chin. And I'm going to be blending that all out with a damp beauty blender. Yeah. Next, I'm going to be setting all of that highlight with my Laura Mercier setting powder. And then I'm going in for contour in this darker concealer color. I'm going to be applying that on the sides of my face, on my forehead, on the sides of my nose, and on the sides of my chin. And then I'm going to blend everything out with a damp beauty blender. Next, I'm just kind of setting under my contour so it can pop some and just going over it with a powder contour. Next, I'm going to be sweeping away all of that powder with the big old fluffy brush. Setting my face with some spray. Just using my MAC Press powder to add a little color in my face. And finally, highlighter, I will be using the Glow Kit from Anastasia Beverly Hills. And I'm going to be using Butterscotch to highlight. My lip combination will be down in the description box. And this is the completed look. Thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. I'll see you in my next video.